the athletic <laughs> the athletics <laughs> poll that they put out. Why are we so close together? You're the you one that did it. You telling me scoot left. Who's telling you that? Yeah, get, the voice is in me. your head? I thought you tooted and yeah, you Richard, scooted get away. Get your marker you here. Wish. My God, you're such a psycho. Um, all right, underrated players. That's I, Now we're getting there. Chandler, who would you have as your most underrated player? Jamal Murray. Okay, okay. I think he is the arguably the best player that's never been an all-star. Mm -hmm. He's the champion. He's been injured a little bit, but he can do everything. He's a huge guard. He can shoot the ball. He defends. I, I had him and Sabonis as my one and two. But now we've talked about the Sabonis thing so much and him being stuck with an all-star. It's almost, almost overrated at no, this point. Too, no, yeah. <laughs> but I love Jamal Murray. I think, you know, as good as Jokic is, is and how dominant he's been, Jamal Murray has been right there with them and has carried this team on a lot of nights. I like that one. Lou? I, I'd have to agree with Chandler. For for lack of a better um, person, I would even throw uh, Paolo in there down in Orlando. Okay. Even though he's an all-star caliber guy, he doesn't get the attention that some of his counterparts and these young guys get um, around the league. So I would throw him in the mix. But Jamal Murray, for sure. I have a, I have a rule. If you, if you make $100 million, you're not underrated, right? But Jamal Murray Whoa. fits the bill for him to never have um, an opportunity to be an all-star, be a champion. Um, be a sidekick to a, to a great Jokic and, and never get the opportunities that other, like Team USA and all of those things. If this was anybody else, they would get all of these these spoils, and he doesn't. So I would I would agree with Chandler. Jamal Murray, <clears throat> both y'all say, survey says, this is according to the players that voted. Interesting. Jam I'm sorry, Jamal Murray's oh the last guy on the list. I find if you Derek make hundred million dollars, it's, it's hard for somebody to feel sorry for. I guess that yeah. You know who's under like Josh Hart to me is under like someone like sure. that that doesn't make that much money that is super valuable to your team. That but like Drew Holiday's not underrated. He's literally the priority for him to get on Team I mean, USA. SGA is underrated. He's the second MVP voting. Yeah. Like those are all. Brandon Ingram would be a good one. Kobe White is a really good one. No, Kobe White's half, a good one. Half of the world doesn't know who that is. Yeah. He's really good at basketball. He's underrated. What about the Derek White though? Did you say? Did you? I think Derek White's almost overrated at I this point. Yeah. Like he, he's a, he's a really 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 good role player. No, that's not even hating. <laughs> Sounds but, like it's hating. Not, he was almost an all star this year. And he averages twelve points a he game. He does have the uh, like, commercial like, for the beer. You know, he was almost an all star and he averages twelve points a game. Like like uh, how is that no, underrated? I think if you're averaging twelve points a game, you're rated about where you're supposed to yeah, be. Yeah, Jalen Williams is not underrated. He's just young. People yeah, I feel like under, they're confusing underrated. With These are stupid. <laughs> okay, there you go. We hate this. Franz Wagner, too. He's not underrated. He's in his like, second or whatever year, and he's yeah, unbelievable, and we've talked about him an awful lot. Maybe Kobe not. White is the most underrated player on that list. Okay. And just right. not Jamal Murray. Murray. Jamal Murray. <laughs> and Jamal Murray, who we started I didn't see him with. down there at How the bottom. How fast we change our minds around here. <laughs> down there at the bottom. That's, uh, okay, let's move on.